remote Bikini Atoll in the Central Pacific, preparations are speeded for America's test of the atom bomb against ships of war. Steel towers will support cameras to record the explosions. For months from San Francisco and other ports, the vast armada of obsolete target ships has been heading for its rendezvous with the fourth atomic bomb. Among them are the Japanese cruiser Sakawa, the Japanese battleship Nagato, and the German heavy cruiser Prince Eugen. These are the ships that will bear the shock of the test bomb. Upon the results of these tests, the navies of the future will be based. To record the blast pressures, towers for special instruments are made ready. Target ships are loaded with materiel, bulldozers, jeeps, planes are lashed to the decks, themselves targets on the target ships. On the deck of the famous Shangri-La, flagship for the experiment, pilotless planes rehearse their part in the operation. Guided by radio, four of them will fly through the billowing masses of smoke following the atomic blast. Each will carry airtight bags that will scoop up samples of the smoke. The bomb will be dropped from a B-29 Superfortress, piloted perhaps by Colonel Paul Tibbets, who piloted the plane that bombed Hiroshima. Within Bikini's 21-mile lagoon, the future of America's Navy will be determined. Hundreds of expert eyes will focus on these floating targets as destructive force, the equivalent of 20,000 tons of TNT, determines whether existing naval vessels are obsolete. Over the exact center of the Navy's most powerful warship types, the bomb will be exploded. The old battleship Nevada will serve as the aiming point. Around it will be arrayed more than a score of ships, concentrated within a circle of 1,000 yards radius. Destroyers, submarines, landing craft, every type of ship. This is a test which the Navy needs to answer many vital questions for the future. Out of the fire and smoke of the weapon that changed the thoughts of the entire world will come the United States Navy of the future.